Hi, my name is Sophie, and today I'm going to be talking about Beartown by Frederick Bachman. So I read this, I believe, in November, at the beginning of November. It, it is November now, oh my god. And this was my first and so far the only Frederick Bachman book I have read. Well, I do plan on reading A Man Called Uwe because I've heard that's gotten really phenomenal, phenomenal reviews. Um, but speaking of phenomenal reviews, I gave this one a five star. It was honestly one of the best books I think I've ever read in my life. And I strongly, strongly encourage everyone to pick up this book because it really is just something else. Okay, so it's about a girl who is raped by a member of a very prominent hockey team in this small town, and it takes place in Sweden, which I did not know until like halfway through the book. I felt so stupid <laughs> when I was reading it. Um, but anyway, and it's about kind of the fallout of that rape and how most of the town ends up turning against her and, you know, following who to believe in this scenario. If you see me looking down, it's because I write my notes down in this little journal. Um, so I'm just kind of reading from my notes. So something that I really thought Bachman did a wonderful job of is the multiple perspectives. Now in most books, I don't really love a wide cast of characters who all have a prominent voice in the story because I think that can make everything very jumbled and chaotic but I think that the multiple perspectives lend lended lens well lens I guess um, a feeling of humanity to each character and it's hard to demonize one person in this book when you are seeing inside their head and you you're, you're hearing everything that they're struggling with um, so even like the villain in this book I could see the fear and the the hurt that he was going through. So it was easier for me to understand um, his motives for doing what he did. Just to clarify, I am in no way excusing his actions, aka raping Maya. The point I'm trying to make here is that I think Bachman does a really good job of blurring the lines between our conventional notions of good and evil by giving us characters motivation and their perspective on the issue so that we can see where they're coming from and therefore it humanizes them. Clearly I did a very poor job of explaining it earlier but that's the point I'm trying to make. And so that humanity that we do see in the book is it's just very important to me because I think if Frederick Bachman had chosen only to write one perspective or two, I would be able to empathize with the characters a lot less. And this is gonna be something I'm talking about a lot more um, in coming videos. Showing the humanity of characters is very, very important to me. I think it's a mark of a very, very talented author if they can, if they can show inside a character's head and you can empathize with them no matter if they're an antagonist or a protagonist, a good guy, or a villain. The next thing that I really loved was the heavy emphasis on the parenting. Um, I think that it offers a different element of pain that is often removed from the source. So as I mentioned in the summary, um, this girl named Maya is raped by a boy named Kevin on the hockey team. And something that we see is what the parents of Maya are going through. And that was fascinating to me because I, I feel like in a lot of the books that I've read that have rape as a central topic we never see the parents perspective we never really get to see what they're going through and oh my god to 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 see the, the narratives of Maya's parents was absolutely heartbreaking and it showed a whole nother element to the rape and something that it I could understand why Maya may be very hesitant to tell anybody that she was raped because her parents were just crushed by that. I mean, imagine that something like that happening to your own child. It's absolutely heartbreaking. But I think that the inclusion of that parental perspective added a very complex element to the story and added another element of hesitancy as opposed to Maya's decision like should I tell or should I not if I tell it will hurt my parents and everyone I love but if I don't tell it will hurt me so I thought that was a very interesting perspective to show um however I, I'm not sure how I felt uh, on a different um 
on the different notes, switching gears a little bit. I'm not sure how I felt about all of the hockey speech, I suppose. Um, hockey is a very, very strong element in this story, partly due to the fact that Maya's rapist, Kevin, is a hockey player on this team and um, in this town, Bear Town. Hockey is really the only thing that they have going for them. I feel like the hockey speech would have been more valuable in connection to its players because a lot of it was just the bare mechanics of the game, which I suppose is helpful. Um, but to like a, a someone who's very knowledgeable about hockey, I don't know jack shit. Uh, so it was good. It was good for me to kind of like you know get to know the mechanics of the game a little bit. But I didn't really understand that pull and that drive that hockey offered to the players. Everyone just, in the book, everyone would just say, well, hockey saved my life. Hockey, hockey's everything. Hockey saved my life, but like, why? Like, I, I don't know, I just, didn't, I just didn't get that. And there was so much hockey speech, but no explanation for why it was such a lifesaver to the people in this town. So I thought that was something that could have been improved upon. Um, however, that was a very, small dislike that I had so it was something that I could really easily overlook. I did love the third person narrative here. Usually I'm not one, I'm not a super big fan of third person narrative. I think it has to be done very well um, like in perhaps an, om an omniscient narration because otherwise I feel just very disconnected from the characters and this was an omniscient narrator. I loved it. I think that it was a great way to get to know the huge cast of characters at once without being overwhelmed by their individual thoughts because the um, the narrator tells us what we need to know. And, and kind of going off that point, that really speaks to Frederick Bachman's writing style because his writing style is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is, it's very concise, which I don't think you see a lot in adult literature these days. I feel like the trend is that flowy, eloquent prose, which is certainly lovely, but Frederick Bachman's, his writing style was like a breath of fresh air. I mean, it was, it was short, it was concise, and, and I could, I could feel the drama when there was drama because of the way his sentences were. He, when there was a big moment, he would talk about the smallest things of the moment, and somehow that made it even more potent, even more powerful, and it, it dramatized the moment way better than a, a long, flowy explanation of that could have done. I'm not sure if that made sense, but <laughs> that's kind of what um, I thought. Bouncing back to sort of the characters and uh, what I liked about them, I think my favorite character in this book was Kira, who was Maya's mother. Um, I think because her determination to do right by her daughter was so startling and so refreshing. And again, I feel, because I primarily read YA and I have basically my entire life, what we mostly see in family dynamics in young adult novels is either the parents are not present <laughs> at all, like I don't, like, and like the kid's like adopted or something, or, um, the, the the protagonist hates their parents and they have a big problems with their parents and and or the parents don't understand them blah 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 and and yeah that 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 obviously is a big problem but I loved seeing parents who are so invested in their daughter's well being the parental involvement in this book was a fresh a breath of fresh air also in itself I mean my parents are very involved in my own life and and so whenever I read something similar to that I, I feel like I feel like I connect with the narrator a lot more and I think her determination kind of was a supplement for her daughters because her daughter just felt so broken inside and she after her rape and she needed someone I think to kind of take the reins and help her a little bit I mean you know who wouldn't that's such a hard thing to go through so I also really loved the ambiguity of the story the ending fits the tone of the book but I do wish we would have seen a little bit more closure. Um, I won't spill the ending entirely, but we're left with a few questions about how the story ends, especially because the last fourth of the book, the action really ramps up and he kind of just ends the story <laughs> with not a lot of closure. That speaks a lot to the culture in our society, in American society, I guess, um, about rape. There's not a lot of closure. The victims don't really 
get the closure that they need often and you know maybe that's because of the way the judicial system handles rape or because rape is often brushed aside and or not believed um but i think in this book it would have been nice to see exactly how maya and kevin's lives ended up instead of just kind of seeing that speculation although but on the flip side i think that lack of closure that we get in the book is also re very representative of the way that life goes you know it's life is not tied up in a pretty little bow at the end of the story i think i think bachman did a really good job of exemplifying that i suppose um but in my personal opinion, I just wish there would have been a little more closure just because I would have loved, loved, loved to see Maya get the help that she needed and for for her story to kind of be resolved, I guess. Um, but regardless, I do see why he did. He chose the ending that he chose. So that pretty much does it for my thoughts on bear town um again five out of five star read i absolutely loved it and i'm very much looking forward to reading more by bachman so bye